Hey guys, welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. We're live from Singapore and in today's video, big news as Facebook unleashed the Oculus Quest 2 version 28, big updates including the 120Hz support. If you're new to the channel, very nice to meet you and a huge welcome back to all our regular viewers and subscribers. Today's shout out goes to Makamo, The Improviser and Ron N. Are you ready? Let's go! Hi guys, bonjour, hope you're doing well today. So big news as Facebook unleashed the Kraken with the Oculus Quest 2 version 28 software update. Yesterday we did another video focusing more on the Oculus Air Link and what it means versus virtual desktop. So go and check out that video. I'll put a link in the description below the like button for you to go and check out after this video. But today we're going to focus on the meaning of the 120 Hertz refresh rate, which is coming to the Oculus Quest 2, the next patch updates. Whew. A lot of good stuff. I'll link you up to another video also as to what it means to have higher, faster refresh rate, which we did when Oculus Quest or well, Facebook had announced that we're going to up to 90 Hertz refresh rate in the link description below, the like button as well. But in a nutshell, the higher the frame rate basically means that A, the gameplay will be much smoother and B, you'll be able to see things happening faster than, you know, other players who may not have as high as refresh rate because it basically means you have more frames in between each frame that will refresh themselves. So it's very, very practical for games, for example, shooters and also, you know, like Sims and all those time of really good VR applications. Now the 90 Hertz support has been welcomed, of course, but you know, it takes time for adoption for VR developers to tweak their code inside of the game before it can become mainstream. So for example, at the moment, we only have Echo VR, Red Matter, Vacation Simulator, Racket NX, 11 Table Tennis, and Down the Rabbit Hole, which can all, you know, patch through to 90 Hertz, and not many more when you compare it to 50 or 70 titles inside of the Oculus Quest Store. It's a fraction of the percent this moment in time. It also seems that the 120 Hertz will only be available to Oculus Quest 2 users and not Oculus Quest 1. So it really looks like with Airlink and the 120 Hertz, you know, that basically Facebook are saying, if you're an Oculus Quest 1 user, you better upgrade soon if you want to continue to be in the Facebook ecosystem, of course, because otherwise it really looks like a little bit like what happened with the Rift S. You know, they might actually discontinue this headset and also the Oculus Quest Go, sorry, Oculus Go. You know, they might actually discontinue the Oculus Quest 1 quite shortly. I'd also like to throw caution to the wind, as they say, because John Carmack, the consulting CTO of Facebook, Reality Labs did mention during the previous Facebook Connect that they might be overheating issues even though he did say that the Oculus Quest 2 could, you know, take on 120 Hertz. So of course it's going to depend on the apps and the number of VR applications available and the number of time that people spend inside the Oculus Quest 2 once it's of course patched to 120 Hertz, but it most undoubtedly will not be 120 Hertz consistently. So overheating might not become an issue, but it might become an issue in the future if of course most of the apps become 120 Hertz and most people who are in the Oculus Quest 2 play for let's say two hours or three hours every day or every two days also. So, you know, do be aware of these kind of things. And also if there are any apps in the App Lab or on SideQuest, which could adopt 120 Hertz, then again, you know, you have to be cautious in terms of about all these different various overheating issues. Now this places the Facebook Oculus Quest 2 at a very high benchmark right next to PlayStation VR 1 and also the Pimax 8K, which can also provide 120 Hertz refresh rate. But you know, Valve Index is still leaning in the back at 144 Hertz refresh rate. And let's not forget the Sony are releasing their next, you know, PlayStation VR headset number two, which might blow all the competition out of the water and also HTC will be releasing their own standalone VR headset. So we don't have the specs for the refresh rate and also Pico Neo 3, which potentially could be a high refresh rate too. And of course, let's not forget Apple VR, which will release their own VR headset next year, which will also be a standalone. We're gonna have to wait and see as you know, what kind of refresh rate they're gonna provide as well. So lots of good stuff there. By the way, guys, this Friday, we will be on the Between Realities podcast, which is frigging awesome. They've had other really great people being interviewed there, including Natey, Tyro, Gamertag, and so many others. So do go and show your love and come and see us. This will be 3 a.m. Saturday, Singapore time, or Friday, 3 p.m. PST time. 
I would also like to take this opportunity to thank you for all the various different comments that you've posted on all the different videos that we've posted. Guys, we're at almost 10,000 subscribers, would you believe? We're really not far off and we're gonna take off even more. I'm pretty sure of it. So thank you for your continued support. Until next time, stay safe and I'll see you in the next video.